This is Dorothea, and unlike Hasumi or Sophia, she's actually get to keep her hat. So therefore, the conclusion is, if you are not a merchant, then you cannot keep your hat. Dorothea is a gambling girl hailing from Shepherd Rock. Her kid is supposed to mirror the gambling aspect of Dorothea, but because Dorothea was released very early into the game, her kit is very simple. She has a spear nuke, she has a spear multi hit, she has a fire AoE, and she has a fire nuke. Reckless Exchange is a 290 power nuke, but because she was released so early, Square Enix would have thought that 290 power nuke is too strong, let's put a negative penalty on it, so they did, which is kind of unnecessary. 290 nuke isn't anything game breaking since both Overwreak and Cut just have it, and it's not like it's over super overpower anything, so Dorothea is just a poor victim of power creep. Other than that, the rest of the kid is very basic, and there isn't much for me to talk about, so therefore, let's just move on to the passive. Dorothea first passive grants spear damage shock to everyone on your team, but it has one weakness though, is that the user Dorothea is slow because she's a merchant, so if anyone hit her before she can attack, then her passive is pretty useless, and not to mention that this passive works with other merchants, and merchants is slow in general, so you better hope that your Dorothea doesn't get hit, or this passive doesn't work at all. Another way you can use this passive is either one, have someone else taunt so that Dorothea won't take it, or number two, just don't put it in the front line at all and just put it in the back line as a backpack. The second passive is a nice bonus to have, but most of the time your team will probably run a region cast on your team, so Dorothea will always have region on her, but this region helps because it's a passive region so stack with the active region, so in case that the active region doesn't give enough to full Dorothea to full health, then the passive region will give her to full health and then activate her passive again. Dorothea ultimate is priority level number 1 to level 10 it, which means that it's not worth it to level 10 it at all, and it's best for you to keep it at 9 and just use a stone for either awakening or for future exchange. As for the reason why, well, Dorothea ultimate as cool looking as it is, is just a simple spear nuke, so the difference between level 9 and level 10 isn't that much of a difference. Dorothea is a speed DPS and a kit is very simple, but because it's so simple, I wish she'd do more besides doing damage, because the damage she do is not outstanding enough for her kit to be that simple. Although one thing you can use for her though for the Avenger of Spear Power Creep is to just put her in the back line and just use her as a spear backpack. Currently, Ian, uh, Overwake can deal more damage than Dorothea, because the spear potency hit for 65 potency per spear, 3 to 5 hit, which means that if our 5 hit does land, then Overwake can deal more damage than Dorothea. Although it can be inconsistent though, so for the sake of consistency, let's say that Overwake can has the potential to deal more damage than Dorothea, but for consistency, Dorothea is better. In the land of Rising Sun, Dorothea is super obsolete over there. Most of the motion camera can do more damage to her, so her damage is power creep to death already. And in terms of her damage backpack, she has been power creep by someone that's not even a merchant, and that is the Shadow or Witcher. He has the same passive as Dorothea, where it's at 4 health to grant the entire team 50% damage spear up. But not only that, he also grant attack up and sword damage up, so it's just way better than Dorothea. Of course, you can run both of them together for 30% spear damage up to the entire team as a passive. But we'd rather say that slot for someone else like a buffer or a debuffer on the back row. Dorothea is really similar to another merchant. They both wear a hat and they both love money, and it's Tressa. In terms of speed DPS, Dorothea win here because the strongest speed move is stronger than Tressa. But in terms of other stuff like elemental attack, Dorothea has a stronger fire nuke, but Tressa has the better win AoE. Dorothea can do more damage than Tressa, but Tressa, for sacrificing a bit of death damage, has other utility that she can offer compared to Dorothea who doesn't have much to offer. So, Dorothea can be a side grade to Tressa, and Tressa can be a side grade to Dorothea. Although that's not something you want to be compared to because Dorothea is a sacred blaze unit, which means that she's a limited unit, so you expect her to be a bit strong, right? But her performance is pretty on par with a permanent pool unit. So, in conclusion, you want a good speed DPS, then, um, pull for Overwork, he's active right now, he's inconsistent, but he can do some good speed DPS, not to mention he's also good at sword DPS. If you want an actual good speed DPS, then wait a few weeks until a unit named Cecily comes to the game, cause not only she's good at dealing sword, well, spear damage, she's also good at dealing spear AoE damage. You can also pull on her banner for a chance to get the other limited unit like Odette, but I would just wait until the next strong limited unit comes to the game, then pull on that banner, and then also get Odette so you can get two strong characters in one.